So we need to make sure that our QR codes view page is accessible from outside the login page. So I'm just going to pause this video and create a new QR code. All right. So just not waste time. Create a new QR. So it is created now. Um, and of course, these are the details. Um, why is username one? We need to fix this. Go to QR code show. Go to QR code. That's probably in resources in views. We're looking for QR codes and we're looking for show fields. And um, right there, we're looking for username. I'm gonna do Ctrl F user name. Okay, cool. So why is it like this? Because we are displaying name or email. I think email is is always better it, because email is unique. So I just call it user. Refresh. And of course, you can take your time out to uh, make all these other ones links. And um, I think we should just do that straight away. So we're basically looking for website and callback URL. So I'm going to search for a control F callback. I've seen it. Callback URL uh, should be a href close. Close the anchor tag. I'll simply copy it and paste. So that's a callback URL, and we're gonna do the same thing for the website. A href. So exact same thing. What did we just do here? Over here? We exclamation mark exclamation back one two we copy that now we'll paste here and we're good i think we should make it open in a new page so we're going to put target since the external uh, forms the external links underscore blank so the same thing with here we we'll just copy what we've done here target underscore blank All right, beautiful. Um, so we want to make sure that this page is accessible from outside the login. Like a user doesn't need to be logged in before they can access this page. Now the reason is that when someone wants to pay, this can also serve as a payment page. You know, like a checkout page where somebody, um, if somebody is on the webmaster's web page and they click um, a link, it can bring them to this page so that they can check out. So to fix that, um, we have to go to the web.php routes web, and we do the same thing with um, QR codes. We need to create a QR code for get show outside the auth. So we can create it above or below. So I think I should create it below. That is outside here. Which is outside login, so we can do route get. So what are we getting? We're getting um, QR codes slash the user ID. All right. So then we we'll do comma at comma QR code controller. I accidentally copied the whole line. So comma QR code controller. And we're pointing to the at show function. Then we give it a name and the name is um, QR codes dot show. All right, beautiful. Now I need to accept it. Now it's outside, it, it can work easily so we need to accept it where is it um qr codes we need to do accept remember how we did it here accept show 
so that um, it can be accessible outside QR codes slash ID. So if we're logged out now, let me copy this. Copy this URL, sign out. So we sign out. Now we can paste and go, which is visit this URL and see whether it will open. And of course, prop trying to get property of non object um, QR code user, auth user. All right. Um, we need to take care of some of these. All right. And um, I think this video is getting longer. I, in the next video, we'll take care of what of some of these. So what the problem is, is that we are using uh, logged in section session to check the user ID or get the user ID. But in this case, the user is not logged in. So we need to first of all check if the user is logged in. I think we have enough time to do that. So we'll go to um, QR codes, QR codes. I think it's in show. Um, which page is this? Line four or five. Let's do it in the next video. I have to find which page this is. Um, it is shoulder blade. Shoulder blade. Yeah. Um, okay, so we need to also check if the user is logged in. So to check if user is logged in, you do old guest. So this checks. So we're gonna do if both guest. That is if the user is logged in. So auth guest means that the user is logged out. So but if you now put this exclamation, it means that this user is logged in. So I'm gonna put a bracket here. So which means the user must be logged in. Put a bracket here. And then all these other things must be true. So the user must be logged in. All these other things must be true for this button to show. So uh, let us try and refresh this page again and see what happens. Another similar error because we're using it somewhere else. So let's do this in the next video. Now you know what the problem is and what the solution is.